I'm only going into this to, um, to explain to the people about what's going on because some of you are confused, okay? Um, I don't feel we have to defend anything. I sat down, I spoke with Bishop Kanai. I believe everything he says. You hear what I mean? Yes, I understand. I understand what you're saying. So here we go, which I agree with you. On the, on the branding of it, you don't get what she wants, you can pay for it. But the manufacturer's way is the at because like you were saying, you, you'll get business elsewhere. You, you, that's what you're talking about. I'm not going to only produce your brand. I'm going to bring customers to your brand. I mean, not the customers to your manufacturing plant. That's going to actually buy through you. I sat down. I spoke with Bishop Kanai. I believe everything he says. Um, I spoke with a lot of the parties involved. I spoke with Pockets. Mr. Pockets. And I want to be able to profit off of that. That's where the money's at, to be honest with you. Yes. That's where the long-term dollars at, to be honest with you. Yes. So, with that, this is how sales may do it. Why do you think it's fair? I sat down. I spoke with Bishop Kanai. I believe everything he says. She said, time to say, you know, that's about where I want. And then you may say, listen, on the design part of it, pay me salary. I sat down. I spoke with Bishop Kanai. I believe everything he says. What are you see? And then... On the manufacturing end of it, you get a flat salary, dollars, dollars, a big dollar, under whatever. So give me a percent, ten percent. You know, understand, ten percent. If she has one third of Israel, if, let's say one third of Israel repents, we can't put a number to it now, but it says we get to send the seats. If she gets, if she gets five percent or three percent of one third of Israel. You're talking about hundreds of millions of dollars in business. Hundreds of millions of dollars. Now, I'm not going to do that. What I'm trying to say is that 10% of a million dollars, and you ain't doing no work, is $100,000. And that's only at a million dollars. A million dollars ain't, ain't no real big money. You're not the answer. So that's why I said, don't come with a ridiculous number because you're going to scam off. I sat down, I spoke with Bishop Kanai, I believe everything he says. Let's say everything for whatever reason is false flat. It never goes anywhere. They're out of money. You just out of time. Let's say everything for whatever reason is false flat. It never goes anywhere. They're out of money. You just out of time. I sat down, I spoke with Bishop Kanai, I believe everything he says. Let's say everything for whatever reason is false flat. It never goes anywhere. They're out of money. You just out of time. They're out of money. You just out of time. They're out of money. You just out of time. And I want to be able to profit off of that. That's where the money's at, to be honest with you. Yes. That's where the long-term dollars at. And I want to be able to profit off of that. That's where the money's at, to be honest with you. Yes. That's where the long-term dollars at. I sat down, I spoke with Bishop Kanai. I believe everything he says. And you know, here's the thing. All those years of helping people, now the times for it to become yeah. Uh, uh, a residual that falls back in No more helping. I, and I did you want to switch to my help. I sat down, I spoke with Bishop Kanai. I believe everything he says. With Israel and black and Hispanic people, they believe that they deserve a little extra because they're the truth. I sat down, I spoke with Bishop Kanai. I believe everything he says. With Israel and black and Hispanic people, they believe that they deserve a little extra because they're the truth. I sat down, I spoke with Bishop Kanai, I believe everything he says. And I want to be able to profit off of that. That's where the money's at, to be honest with you. Yes. That's where the long-term dollars at. And I want to be able to profit off of that. That's where the money's at, to be honest with you. Yes. That's where the long-term dollars at. That's where the money's at, to be honest with you. Yes. That's where the long-term dollars at. That's where the money's at, to be honest with you. Yes. That's where the long-term dollars at. That's where the money's at, to be honest with you. Yes. That's where the long-term dollars at. I want to give all the praises and the honor to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Racha, Quadash, and double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone and Shalom to the elect. Okay, there's laboring and sincerity. And I want to touch 
on this group, the Israel United in Christ. Here we go again, okay? Rumors continue. Now, before I start, you know, going in further in the lesson, you know, I'm a detailed person, so I pay attention. And I noticed that this Bishop Kanai, he's, he's downing. He had to down a pack of turkey bacon. <laughs> I'm not trying to be, you know, funny about it, but, I, you know, these fat cats, this is what they do. They take your money, they eat. Okay, and I'm not going in on their physical appearance. I'm just saying that this is what they do, man. They take their money and they eat. Okay, they they get their good money weight going on, and they live good off of you, Jake's money. Okay. Now, and of course, this is a business. This is the Lord Lord's business, and your, your teachers should be taken care of. I've I've always said that, even first coming in the truth. Uh, because you'll go to the so-called white man's college and you'll pay him for your lessons or whatever the case is. But this, this is like an extortioner. You know, they got scriptures on extortion. And, and I, I, look, the intro said it all. A lot of times the, in, the introduction and eclipse, and, you know, they kind of put their foot in their own mouth. Okay? This is ridiculous. And this is how we can see that Israelite is a brand. They're making money. They're about the dollars, and you'll have people say we're jealous or I'm jealous. I don't even know them to be jealous. All I know is that something's not right in this picture, okay? I'm not, I don't wake up and, okay, and say, hey, time to get on IUIC. I look at, you know, it's just something about this group that always, you know, show forth that something is wrong, okay? Now, and it looks good because you're waking people up. Everybody's Israelite. You feel good. You know, it's a church on roids. Anyway, Proverbs 23 and 5. Wilt thou set thine eyes upon that which is not? For riches certainly make themselves wings. Uh, they fly away as an eagle toward heaven. Now, uh, the camp, you know, the campaign, uh, not going on the campaign with uh, just trying to down IUIC. This is not what that's about. And uh, I get a lot of, uh, you know, we get a lot of haters. Or people will say we hate them because we're trying to tear down what they're building up. And that's not the case. When are you guys going to open your eyes? When are you going to find, see that, hold these people accountable for these get rich quick schemes and making money? I, I've heard Nate say himself, we need the seamstresses and we need to make the money and we need to build. But you got to ask yourself, where's all of this money going? Okay. Is it going in your pockets or the bishops or the fat cats that's sitting behind the desk? Okay? That's what it looks like to me, man. And you go to Matthew 6 and 11. Even in the prayer, it says, give us this day our daily bread. At least fat cats is not getting daily bread. They're getting yearly bread, man. They're looking for the long haul. Okay? They're looking for the 401ks. Okay? The 401 canines. <laughs> Okay, they're trying to get paid off you guys, man. When are you guys going to see that? Okay, there's a thing of helping and understand that, but you got people who are so naive, and I've witnessed people like that. They're so impressionable that they will spend their last dollar, okay, just to make feel like they're part of something and, and to make themselves feel like they're helping. And you can help. There's nothing wrong with helping, but there's something wrong when the swindlers and the fat cats come out of the woodworks to make the cash, okay? There's definitely something wrong with that. And I don't even want to make the video long. I just see something wrong with that, man. And 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 look here at the woman, okay? This woman, she got purple stilettos. So you got the women that's, that's uh, making out, okay? Some of the women, and they setting them up like, uh, you know how pimp set up women to be over other women. That's all this is, man. This is a pimp show. Money, hoes, and clothes. All the Israelite knows. Okay. Now, the biggest thing I'll say that was disturbing that I heard in the clip as Kanai, Bishop Kanai. Okay. <laughs> um, uh, Bishop Kanai um, was going into if, you know, all, if one third wake up, He's planning, you know, he's 
he's really messing with the elect. He's trying to mess with the elect. He's basically trying to swindle the elect. He said, if the one-third wake up and we get the money, it's like, hold on. When the one-third wake up and the elect wake up, you should be on the, on the mindset of trying to get the hell out of here. I'm trying to build some extra businesses. And this proves that these guys don't want to get out of here, man. They say it as a good word and a fair speech to deceive you, to get you into this group. But deep inside, they don't want to get out of here because this guy is saying when a one-third wake up, then that's a certain amount of money. You can have millions of dollars once the one-third wakes up. That's very disturbing. Something's very wrong with that. And any of you guys, and I know it's hard to break away when you believe in something so much and it's hard to fathom the idea that these people are swindling you and taking your money, you know, we're here to tell you, you don't have to live like that, man. You know, come out of false camps and false doctrines. These top teachers are getting paid. If you know this, okay, they're getting paid. I mean, I'm talking about paid on a high level. Now that would be okay if everybody was living good and eating good, but that's not the, they are like churches, uh, 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 feeding off of the poor, okay? They're like leeches, man. You know, the poor people come in and they suck you dry and take all your money. So this guy is saying when the one-third wakes up, you can get millions of dollars from the one-third. Obviously, he's talking about the elect. Uh, maybe he's not. In his spirit, he's not really talking about the elect. He's just talking about it. He's talking gibberish. He's just talking about a bunch of men and women that's waking up to the fact that they're Israelites. That's what he's saying. He shouldn't say one-third because that's off. When they wake up, they're going to be throwing him millions of dollars. Get the hell out of here, man. That's ridiculous. The one-third waking up for serving Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, man. But because you guys believe in Christ, the money, you guys don't have no faith. That's all it is. That's all it is. You have no faith. Anyway, Psalms 62 and 10. Psalms 62 and 10. Trust not in oppression. And that's what these guys are doing, man. They're oppressing you. You're trusting in their oppression. Because it goes on to say, and become not vain in robbery. <laughs> Fat cats, okay? They're robbing you, and they're vain in doing it. Well, when a one-third wakes up, Guess what? We could get millions of dollars and 10% of a million is 100,000. You see how he's breaking it all down before he even gets the cash. Okay? And become not vain in robbery. If riches increased, set not your heart upon them. Set not your spirit because you get extra money. And the reason why that, you know, you go into the precepts on that, because riches fly away. You know, you might get rich and you, you get that greedy spirit, man. Well, when you get rich, you're supposed to help other brothers. Surely everybody in the truth ain't rich. Everybody in the truth ain't going to be rich. You know, what do you shall say? Uh, um, verily, a, a rich man shall hardly enter into the kingdom of heaven, man. Come on, man. That is ridiculous, man. Miss Daddy had smacking on the bacon, eating a pound of the turkey. And I'm sure it was turkey bacon. We, we understand that. But he's smacking on the food. And he's eating that like uh, he's he's eating that like it's nothing, man. Like it's just, just some cheap ass food. You know, turkey bacon gets kind of expensive, and he's just smacking that stuff stuff down, man. And really, that ain't all that healthy to be eating all that goddamn bacon, man. See, Jake think just because you uh, it's lawful to eat turkey bacon, he gonna smack down a whole goddamn <laughs> a whole pack of turkey bacon, man. That ain't healthy, man. That's going to uh, increase your cholesterol. See, you're increasing your riches, but you're increasing your cholesterol. Okay? The Lord will put you, for de put you to death for that, man. Okay? You know the stories in the scriptures. People drop dead over riches, man. Come on, man. That's all I have on that, man. You guys, you're exposed, man. Okay? And, you know, everything's it, with Sirach 23 and 19. The eyes of the Lord is 10,000 times brighter than the sun, man. What the hell is this? You guys, you guys are con artists, man. Or canine artists. Okay, that's all I have on that. Shalom.